Hello there beautiful people and welcome back again to our channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop on the line a comment, I would be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back and please bear witness for that because I made over 250 videos so far in Shopify customization. They were mostly requested by you guys. And I know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So don't hesitate, man. If you have any video requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below. I would be happy to provide you information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe or maybe now you should consider doing so because if you don't, you lose. Now it's a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations, but now we'll be sharing complete sections and widgets highly customizable to make a Shopify store very unique and professional without having to rely on those expensive teams or hiring those expensive developers or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications that will drain your money and it's not a very good idea for long-term projects. But I give you a better deal, scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, now let you decide and I respect your decision. But for now, let me show you actually how to show the discount code on the product page on your Shopify store and not just any plain text discount code, it's actually a widget and it it looks like a ticket and it looks very good and interactive and 3D and also it's actually clickable so the user even if he doesn't want to copy it using the right click he can actually click on the widget and it will copy the discount code that you will set and also it will show a message saying hey the discount code was copied so he can actually know that and not just that because I will share two types of this same widget which is the first one will show up across all your products on your Shopify store and the second one will show up only on some specific products that you want. And you might be thinking how much you're gonna pay for this? Nothing. It's completely free actually and it takes time to build stuff like this and share them completely free. So I would really appreciate if you hit that like button and leave me a comment. I do reply to each comment so I would reply to you and also it will motivate me to share more free things with you guys because there is many people that will grab the code and post them without any credits or something and that's actually not motivating at all. So I don't want to share things that will people just grab and make them as their own but if you can hit that like button and leave me a comment I would really appreciate it. And it's actually free. I mean the comment and the like as well as the codes are completely free. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is Shopify down team. I always start with completely new team, nothing on it. And each video I add smart customizations. By the video like 70 or 60, the team will be completely different. But now I think I reached that level halfway. Check out for example this all-in-one reviews carousel that will show reviews from multiple sources and it's filterable. Or this scrolly logos as you can see with the fade at the corners or even better. Check out the recent sales on your Shopify store that will show you the recent sales on your Shopify store by using your own custom code. And all of this I mentioned now is standalone code without using any applications. Or you want to see something that will make you more money? Check this out. So this is the mouse cursor, right? I will act just like I want to leave or close the page and this thing will show up which is an abandoned cart pop-up reminder that will remind the user how many products he added to the cart and he didn't check out and this is by using the exit intent so it detects when the user trying to leave then it does show up and yes by using your own custom code and many many more things in here if i scroll down as you can see everything has been done in tutorials and all of them are the codes available for them without using any applications for example, let me access this product so we'll do demonstration on it or actually this one has full of stuff as you can see already. So we will do demonstration on the new one. By the way, wishlist system with the icon on the header, I did that in tutorials and completely free again. So I will quit now, I promise. I will close this page actually and I will do demonstration on Horizon Team, which is the new one. And by the way, this code will work on every Shopify team, no matter if it's paid or free or custom made. Any Shopify theme would work on it because it's it's standalone code. And all my codes are actually like that, not just this one. So let me open up actually the Horizon theme and let me navigate to the product page. So let me scroll down to the product. Yeah, I just did this one as well, if you're interested. And also the shadow effect on the cards for Horizon team. Many, many stuff coming in the future as well. So we will add uh, in here or anywhere you want. Uh, a, a ticket looks very good and shiny and interactive and as I said it will show a discount code and also it's clickable once it clicks on it it will copy the code and it will show a message and the second thing the second code which is uh, it will only show up on some specific product that you want so we'll keep this page open do the trick 
come back and see it in action. So get back to Shopify dashboard. If you're already in Shopify dashboard, click on online store, then click on teams, then click on customize button for the team you are using. In my case, I'm gonna do it on Horizon, so I'm gonna click customize here. And you might be thinking, oh, it's already available on Team Editor. No, it's not. So <laughs> simply navigate to the homepage at the top of the screen, simply click on it, then click on product, and click on default product template that you're using. In my case, I'm using the default one. And this product has so much stuff. Just for the clarity of the tutorial, let me uh, navigate to another product from here. Let me actually do this one. So we will add uh, in here, we will add actually anywhere you want. Just in my case, I think I will add it in here or in here. It's a, a badge or a ticket that will show the discount code. So the first thing you're going to do is navigate to the template on the left panel. Click on product information to be expanded. Then in here, pick where you want to add it. As you can see, this is the variant picker. This is the adjusted divider. And this is the buy buttons. As I said, in my case, I want to add it in here below the buy buttons. So I'm going to add hover below, just below the buy buttons or anywhere you want to add the section, uh, the widget, sorry. Then click on the add block. Uh, and it will show up this one and simply search for custom liquid this one custom liquid as you can see then simply click on it and this time will show up on the right of the screen where you can paste in some code as you can see and where are you gonna get that code you need to hire a developer pay him wait 24 hours i'm just joking scroll down the description box you know we see a link on my website completely free again as i said i repeat completely free simply click on it and download a zip file and a zip file will contain two dot liquid files. And you might be thinking why it's two, because the first one will show up across all your product. The second one that has the word, um, actually the file name is discount code specific, or actually discount ticket, discount dash ticket dash specific. This file that has the word specific is the one that will show up only on some specific products that you want. The second one will show up across all your product and they all look the same. Both of them look the same. Both of them behave the same. In my case, so I can explain to you how to show it across uh, the specific products that you want. I'm going to assume you want to show it only on specific products so I can show you the extra stuff that's required because this one requires an extra step. So now open which file you want to use. As I said, in my case, I'm going to assume you want to show only on specific product. Then open it with any text editor on your computer copy the whole code inside it, then simply paste it in here. That was very simple, right? Now, just zoom out and click on save. And if you pick the one that will show up only on some specific products, nothing will show up because we need to specify which products uh, we want the ticket or the discount code to show up on. Then I will show you how to actually customize the discount code because obviously you need to set your own discount code. So the next thing we're going to do is we already uh, finished from here. Let's just exit from the team editor. After you click on save, make sure you do so. And let's just say I want to show it on this specific product, which is Anchor Bracelet Man. So I want to show it in here for this product only. So simply get back to Shopify dashboard, then search for that product. In my case, as I said, it's Anchor Bracelet. So I'm going to search for Anchor Bracelet Man this one right here then after that the next thing you're going to do is simply head back to tag section in here and click on it and add the tag discount that's very simple right simply add the tag discount just like you see and add it make sure you see it in here here it is i see it then click on the save button wait for a couple of seconds to change and here we go we're gonna get back in here reload the page and it should show the ticket in here then i will show you how to change the discount for your discount now let's just reload the page and here it is check it out now as you can see it looks 3d once i scroll once i hover with the mouse over the corners it's actually interactive and 3d based on where i scrolled again and if i actually click on it for example let me click on it code was copied and the code was copied is this 10 of today let me actually show you that if i passed in here it is as you can see 10 of today so it was copied and it shows the message indicating that the code is actually copied so now how actually to change the discount code so you can show your own code and also customize the text because you can actually customize the text if you want and also if in case you want to add this widget on other products as well simply add the same tag to other products it's very simple now let's just get back to our team editor because we have to change the discount so let me click on 
customize again, navigate to the product page. And here is after I get back in here, simply click on the call like this, then actually use the, if you are using Windows, click on Control F on your keyboard. I'm on Mac, I'm going to click on Command F and it will show me this prompt and simply type in uh, the discount code, which is 10 off. And I already see it actually. So I'm gonna delete this and type in 10 off and here is, as you can see, this is the, the one that says data, uh, data dash code. This one that will be copied. So in my case, let's just do like, for example, uh, 50. No, it's actually 50. And we need to actually change it two times because this one is the code that will be copied. We need to change it on the display what it shows basically. So click again on enter and it will highlight another one, which is use code. And this one contain all the text, as you can see on product of 10, uh, 100 uh, USD plus use code 10 off today. So you can actually change this text however you want, the text between the, between the quotes. You can change it however you want. In my case, I'm gonna change just the percentage again. So I'm gonna do 40%. I'm gonna keep this one's the same. And also this extra 10% off, I'm gonna change it to 40 as well. So now if I click on save, I will get back in here and reload the page and see if that will change. And here it is, as you can see, it shows now 40% uh, off and also the code is 40 off today. And if I uh, copy it, as you can see, and I, let me actually pass this somewhere here, here is now it's 50. I did add 50, not 40. That was a typo. Anyway, that's how you show the discount code on the product page and not just any plain text as you saw. It's very cool uh, widget and completely free. So now help me out, press that like button. I would really appreciate it. And if you have any requests or any questions, so drop me a comment below. I will be happy to provide you information you need. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.